Nodi Gang, Nodi Gang, Nodi Gang. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over how to make coins with a smaller sample size. So I'm talking about if you have 250,000 coins, 300,000 coins, 400,000 coins, I'm going to show you a guide to help you be able to get way more profit. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button. All of it is free and make sure that you turn your notifications on. Also, you can go in the link in the description and support the eBooks or the Patreon membership and become a way better Madden player overall. Let's get into today's breakdown. This is your one-stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for eBooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just wanna become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do, as you can see, I am starting off with 408,000 coins. So I'm not having 2 million. I'm not going and ripping pecs behind the scene. I'm starting off with 400,000 coins. Now, what I did last night was spent about 125 to 150,000 coins sniping 90 overalls. The reason why you want to try to snipe cards is so your overall profit can be always a little bit better. So if it's a card going for 64, 65,000 coins on the regular, if you can get it for 55, 56,000, that's going to help your overall profit. Now, another key thing that you want to do is you want to take advantage of all solo missions in the games where you're going to get free presents for snow. You're going to get your daily coin pack. So you're going to play your solos, get two wins, three wins. Make sure that you open up a 500 get a player pack and then the grid iron pack that you can get through certain levels. Go to your ultimate season. You have objectives. They're going to give you free stuff like right now. I'm probably two or three solos away from an 89 to 90 overall power up pass. In return, that's gonna help me sell off an 89 to 90 overall player or somebody that I have inside of a power up. 89 to 90 overalls are going between 35K and up to about 65K. So that's gonna be free coins that you can put back into your pocket by replacing that with your power up. Then level 29, just playing the game, you're gonna get another 20K coins, okay? So on top of that, you're gonna get your daily coin which you're going to do from playing your solos from opening one pack all that type of stuff then you're going to get 20,000 coins right here and a power up pass at level 28 now depending on what level you is it's going to be different rewards they just gave me a gridiron pack 10k coins one gold team fantasy pack so as soon as you get all these rewards don't sell them right away think of ways that you can make more profit off of your card. So if you get a pack and it has all golds in it, you wanna think about a set where you can turn them free cards into a profit. Now, a good set for you to use is Team of the Week, okay? So if you went right here, Team of the Week, and you went to Week 6. Now, Week 6 Team of the Week has a lot of value and potential for you to pull a lot of coins. Exchange 280 to 82 overalls, 475 to 79 overalls so if you do the 20 get a player pack method and you pull some 75 79 overalls you have a place to put them at right here four of them if you get two 80 to 82 overall cards that's two low elites or you can snipe them throughout the night get these 80 to 82 overalls snipe them for about 1800 2200 Put them in there that'd be two cards that you would have been to got for about 5,000 coins put them in there 81 to 88 week six set okay so if you start building that set the 81 to 88 and you get yourself four to five different packs saved up and then you rip them you have a chance to make a lot of coins each one of these 88s that you pull is over 60k 58k right here 65k right here the prices is going down it was all the way up to about 95k so if you put in inside of the pack maybe six to 8,000 coins because the price is steady going down, you have a chance to pull a 50K profit real, real fast. So as you can see in my binder, I got a 91 overall and two 90s. That's gonna give me 17,000 training, okay? So with that 17,000 training, that's gonna give you 18 to 19 rolls, 
Okay, so if you go right here to my marketplace and you go to auctions and trades, you're gonna see I sniped all these, my bids, we're gonna look at the newest and you're gonna see that I was sniping last night. So right here, I got this one for 64,500, a 91 overall. Usually people get them between 69, 73, 74,000 coins. So I was able to get this Tristan Wharfs, this Walter Jones, and this Joe Batoni for about 100, and 70,000 coins total with three cards. So if I was to pull a 93 out of any of my rerolls, that would put me about 20 to 30,000 closer. For any of these zero chill or anything like that, they prices are 134,000. I made, with three cards, I used up about 160-ish K coins. If I was to pull one of these, that would put me about 90% of my profit back. I have about 18 to 19 rolls. So if I pull 193, that would mean I'm only 20,000 coins away from being able to break even. So if I pull a 93, 189, which is another 30K, that means that I'm right there. That means the next 15, 14, 15 cards is all profit. You can either use them to build up your snow or you can add them into a set, the 92 overall, to make yourself another 100,000 coins. Whatever you have left over from that set, you can build your snow bank up to try to give yourself a chance at a reroll at the 92 plus ghost. So I got 10,000 snowflakes and I got 17,000 training. You wanna start off with about 15,000 training at least. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to training and we're gonna test to see which packs is hot, okay? So we start off with an 83. Seeing anything over a 78 overall is always a good sign. So we're gonna come right here to pack number two, like I said, an 85. So this is a pretty decent window already. Not two 78s back to back, not a 78 and a 79. So whether you get a 78 or 79, it's all up to the pack eyes. But right now, at 11.59 a.m., I am rolling this pack. So by the time I get the video out, you might want to test it with the snowflakes to see how hot they are. Because right now, I haven't pulled one gold. All training packs, one gold. Yesterday, I was pulling all snowflakes packs, and I was getting a lot of good cards. So there's the first gold right there. So I jump over here, and I use my snowflake roll up try to switch the packs up it's just like backing out and coming back in so i roll my uh snowflake boom 85 so out of the past couple rolls i've only got one gold okay so the snowflakes gave me an 85 on the first rip the training just gave me two goals now but they gave me about three or four good pulls so now i have nothing but training left so i'm gonna have to finish the rest of the video off with the training as we still get 85 overalls which all go into the set which all equal coin profit that you didn't have, okay? So we want to try to get up to about 150,000 coins. These pieces will go into a set that'll get me about 115 to 130,000 back automatically because there's an 89 that goes into the set because I already have pieces of one of the sets, the stocking stuffers, to get done. So I got one of the pieces of the stocking stuffer to get done. All the rest of this will go into the stocking stuffer. Here's another 87. As long as you get at least 189 or higher, the 89 goes into the set. Anything over the 89 is a profit for you, okay? So the 89 does go into the set. You're gonna need like five or six 83s or you're gonna have to pull a lot of 78 to 79s to make some 83s. So we're getting a lot of 87s right now. Okay, so the 87s, I think you need two of them. We're gonna have way more 87s than we need. So we can probably do the set two times or you can sell off the rest of the 87s to go toward your snowflake bank. If you want an opportunity to pull that 140 snow, you wanna add all your snow up at the end. Okay, so we pulled a few golds in a row. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna let my XP register, get my free coins right there. And then we're gonna go back into the store because we down to our last three to four rolls. So we're gonna back out of the store, come back in. We don't have the snowflakes to be able to make up for the cold uh, streak. So usually I will roll two or three. Now we're coming back in, we're back to the golds right now. So they're not spitting out 91, 93 overalls, but I am guaranteeing myself a way to make coins with a little coin stack. So this 400 and some thousand that I have after buying my training, will I be able to get my coins back? Guaranteed, because I pulled at least an 89 overall. I pulled what, five or six 
87 overalls and 85s overall. So each 85 is probably 7 to 8K. There's a 91 right there. Profit. Okay. So we ended off with a 91 overall. That's going to be 65 to 75,000 coins. So if I make a stocking stuffer, 115 to 125,000 coins, plus the 91 on top of that, that's going to be over 200,000. I spent about 150, 160,000 to be able to roll that. So everything else that I pull is going to be profit. So if you come down here, don't matter which set that you choose. So we got our 89 overall. We have put the 89 into the set. So we got two of them. So it's an opportunity that we can make two sets or sell everything off. So how many 87s do we got? So we got one, two, three, four, five, eight 87s. We only need two of them. So all the other five is extra profit. You can sell them off individually. You can roll them into snow to get yourself closer to that 140 thousand snow pack okay so or you can make yourself two of these so that will put you way over so these 85s was rolling out so we got all the 85s that we need boom put him into the set so the 83s is the hardest one to get and we got barely enough of them now if you one short two short of the 83 overalls you can take your 78 to 79 overalls and turn them into 83 overalls so there's our william ghosting the prices of the power-ups been going up and down so are they still okay so he's still over 115k so 126k right there 126 thousand okay so this is how close we are to finishing another one so that'll put us Spending 160, if we was to do 120, 120, that's 240. That fast, that'd be about a 70 to 80,000 coin profit, okay? So we sell mine off, that'd put me back over 500,000 where I originally started. And then if we was to make another one or sell these individually, that'd probably get me another 105 to 110,000 in a seven to 10 minute increment. Now, I made that one stocking stuffer. Now, we go right here to my newest cards. I made my stocking stuffer and I'm about 30,000 away from breaking even on what I originally started with. So we sold both of them off. That's gonna get me close to 125K out of the 160K with the snipes. Now we also have this 91 that we pulled. Like I said, a 91 or a 93 helps you out. So this puts you in profit. This 91 overall puts you in profit. So you can sell this off and then all the rest of the cards, you can do whatever with that puts you in a positive. So this, this, all these down here. Okay, so if we look at this 85 right here, boom, that's 7,000. Okay, so 130,000, that'll put me close to 140,000. I need 20K to make up. So we have an 87 right here. That's 14, 15K. So I need 5K out of all the rest of these cards to make up for it. So we do have another 85. So right here would be my next 7,000. So now we break even, okay? So we took all that break even. So that means that we stuck with a 91. That means we have a 79, a 78. We have another 85, 285s right there. And then a 78, 78. So now we have 71,000 snow left over that we can put in our bank toward the 140,000 roll. That's gonna give you a chance at a limited, that's going to give you a chance at a 95. So this is free snow, 71,000. Okay, so that's going to give you a chance at an even bigger pool. All right, so for the video purposes, we're going to quick sell all that for 145,000 snow. Remember, I already have this 100 and some 20,000, and then I already have this. This is going to put me over what I originally had. Okay, so I got the 91. I've made a stocking stuffer. That's going to be another 125,000. So I'm right now at about 20K profit. Plus, I can quick sell everything else. I can get more training. I can quick sell all these for more training that you pull out of the packs, or you can put them into sets, these goals, to go closer to your uh, team of the weeks and everything where you got a chance to pull 88 overalls. Now, I gave myself a free roll with the extra snow 147,000. It's 140,000 for the role come over here to snowflakes now i give myself a free ghost opportunity whatever i pull out of here in my eyes is profit you have a chance at getting a limited 94 overall rashad fenton okay so we're gonna get our coins back from the re-rolls 
we're gonna get our coins back from the training that we did already and now we have that 91 overall sitting there that's gonna be about a 20 25k profit super fast now we gave ourselves another opportunity with this reroll 175 180 thousand coins okay sometimes you might pull a 92 but you give yourself a chance to make a lot of coins this is just using 160,000 coins if you have 160,000 coins sniping the right amount of cards subscribe to this channel you see that fast I can turn my 150 160,000 investment into about 150 to 200,000 profit so if we go right here we still have this card up for sale we pulled a 91 overall some of y'all have pulled two 91 overalls some of y'all have pulled a 93 overall okay so this right here equals what i spent on my training plus a 20,000 profit so let's look at that again we got this 92 123,000. okay i spent about 160 ish right here 123,000 plus 60,000. that's a hundred and 80,000 so that's 15 to 20k profit then we got a free roll with the extra snow all the 87s 89s depending on how many you get this is another 185,000 so that puts us at about a 200,000 profit in this video plus playing your solos doing all your daily objectives we got these golds and these elites Plus we have this extra 89 and we got more training that you can go back, do the process all over again. You can quick sell these for training if you have these trainings, okay? So that'd be another 4,000 training. That's another four to five rolls if you wanna finish up a set or you can come right here and take these 80s, 73s, put them toward a set. That set eventually is gonna help pay out for you, okay? So that's how you take advantage of making coins. If there's any questions, let me know in the comment section and you know your boy gonna take care of you.